All right, today we're going to be talking about the 15 extra pump, which we have here. And um, we're going to put the nitrogen adapter on it. We're going to install it. If you buy a 15 extra pump without the nitrogen adapter, this is what it looks like. Just like this. You can purchase it from us with it already on. But a lot of people buy this 15 extra pump and then buy this later on. You can operate the 15 extra pump with nitrogen without this, but it's not very efficient due to every time you cycle this pump, when it releases back, you lose some nitrogen. So it's wasting it. So with installing this, you never lose any nitrogen. So we're going to show you how to install this today. First, you need a half inch wrench. Take these loose, back these all the way off. You got another one down here. These compression fittings here. This tube should just slide right out. Then 11 16 wrench, you want to take this 90 degree fitting off of the check valve. You're not going to need this anymore. You're going to want to get some Teflon tape, clean this up some, get off all the loose Teflon tape. Then you want to do about three to four wraps of Teflon tape. And then you're ready to install the nitrogen adapter. And basically you want to do that. Uh, get it tight. You want this to be in line with the other fitting down here. And now you're gonna have to I thread this in just so I know it's in place. Lay it right over the top of where your new fitting's supposed to go. And you wanna cut it to the middle of where these threads are here. So I, I mark it right about there get your tube cutter or saw if you don't have a tube cutter but this is the proper way to do it and just cut this tube down to where you had marked it Take the old nut off, put that new nut on and the ferrule, so it should look like this. Install it there, put this other end down here, so it should look like that. Half inch wrench. Go ahead and snug these back up. These are brass fittings, so you don't want to over tighten them. The threads can be easily damaged or cross threaded. And you want to double check and make sure that these arrows on these check valves are flowing in the right direction. These should be flowing together, going in the same direction. Um, if you have this backwards, or if for some reason you get it and it's backwards, that's wrong. It needs to be flowing in this direction. 
So now you're ready to operate this thing with nitrogen, which you hook your nitrogen up to the Schrader valve. On off of your um, nitrogen bottle, you need to have a regulator and regulate the pressure down. Um, and whatever pressure you have using your inlet from your shop air, so let's say if we have 100 PSI going in here, your nitrogen level needs to be greater than. So when the air or the nitrogen comes in here, it holds this check valve closed so you're not getting air, shop air, mixing with the nitrogen. If this is less than this air is greater, it's going to open this valve, check valve, and you'll get air coming in here mixing with your nitrogen, with your dry nitrogen. And we know in air compressors and what have you, uh, moisture builds up. So for those um, applications that you do not want moisture, you have to have the nitrogen greater than the inlet air. After you get the install done with the nitrogen adapter, you want to go over it with some soapy water, hook air up, and spray all these joints and check for leaks. And if you put water on there, soapy water, and there's no bubbles, then you should be good to go.